I'm Justin and today I thought I'd have a look at a, uh, a Doctor Who thing that I received over Christmas um, so I thought I'd have a do an unboxing and then a bit of a review and we'll have a go at seeing what this product looks like um, as you can see it's the living flesh from Doctor Who and it's a kit and it allows you to make the living flesh so um, we'll start by doing an unboxing and we'll see what we've got in the box and then we'll go from there I'll just open that. Okay. So, uh, what have we got here? We've got a mixing cup. I'll put it over here so you can see it bit by bit. Another mixing cup. Oh my god. It's quite well secured in here. Uh, I'll just get this over here off. these unboxing. Oh look at this, we've got, well that's just another bit of packaging, we've got some instructions, um, like so, tell you how to set it all up. We've got two mixing cups so far, uh, everything is, oh we've got some powdery stuff here, it's all very well tied in so what I'll do is I'll just um, undo all this probably fast forward. So you have the living flesh um, powder, obviously to use with the other two items. And you've got here um, we'll find out what that is. <laughs> okay. is this part here which is obviously the the molding kit I suppose and you've got it and it looks like it breaks down comes out oh yeah, it slides out and you've got a little skeleton there which is pretty neat which I'll just open up so you can have a look um, so there's your skeleton and then your mold here and obviously this is the powder we have to mix up and this here this this device here must be something you pour and you probably use that to push it down through and squeeze it out into there oh my god it's going to be an unusual event to make this anyway um, this is the, the the whole thing unboxed and uh, what I'll do next is I'll actually make one up and then I'll show you on the video what it looks like um, we'll do a bit of the mixing up procedure and follow the instructions from there. Well now I've done an unboxing of the um, Living Flesh Doctor Who modelling kit. I thought we'll just have a look at some of the bits. We've got a sculpting knife, a spoon, it comes with two cups, The dispenser unit for squeezing out the living flesh, uh, which that goes into. Um, and then we have the, the actual living flesh kit, which is this part here. And so we have the, the little exoskeleton sort of framework, and that folds together like so. And then you have this, this unit here, where it slides in, obviously to, to hold it. I'll just move some of these sealers out of the way. And then this, which is your like cement mixer thing, it, it attaches to this point in here. This was a bit tricky to get on actually, because it didn't fit the first few times. It's sort of a bit of a fiddling. But you get it in so like that, so that the little tap part where it obviously squeezes out goes into this chamber. Anyway, I'll just take that away and we'll, we'll um, and of course it comes with your modelling powder there. So, the next thing you need to do is we'll, we'll, we'll now mix up the unit and we'll see what we get from there.
Right, well we'll start by, you add the powder and there's a mark at the bottom which is very hard to see but it's about, um, I use my, to feel it really, it's about halfway there where my finger is at the moment. So you put your powder in and then apparently you, you've got to bang it until it's sort of level and it's, there's a little mark there. It's very hard to see though, unfortunately. Then, you've got to add water to this other level here. So you slowly put the water in, up till about that point. Put that over there. And then you, you slowly mix it together in, into a gel, I suppose like a bloody old cement mixer type thing here and it's pretty awful stuff Ooh. I think I'm going to have to add a bit more water it's going very thick quickly and keep adding a bit more water and mix it in till it's thoroughly mixed until it's like a, a gooey sort of substance apparently you have about 10 minutes before it sets so I suppose the idea is to mix it through as quick as possible just put a bit more water in there just get that a bit more runnier Just make sure sides and that. And it's quite a yucky thing. And then you pipe it into this little cylinder thing here. Um, try and get as much as I can in there. like so, you have your plunger and then you sort of use this to plunge it into the chamber which I can see filling up now few escape holes on it too and then you leave it to set for as I said about 10, 10 minutes um, so we'll let that set just wash my fingers in that and we'll come back and have a look and see how that comes out right well it's been a good ooh, 15 20 minutes and it seems to have all set so, oh, yep yeah, it's definitely set this is probably set in here too now oh god I have to get that out later and sort that out so we'll try and pull this apart and see if we can have a look at it oh dear Jelly fied. Yeah. Don't really like the feel of it. I see it sort of peels apart. Yeah. And the next thing, the next trick is how to get it out of there. So this is where this knife sculpting knife type thing comes in handy 
I see, and we can sort of use it to pry it apart, like so, and, oh god, well, I suppose if you clean it up, you've got that, but it's not quite as exciting as it was on the box, where it looks like that there i suppose if you clean the figures up really well you could get the the use out of it <laughs> it's all rather slimy and pretty yucky horrible and looking <laughs> anyway i hope that video is of interest and you've you've actually seen uh, how you make a, a living flesh doctor who figure and um please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching again